Hi beautifuls, welcome to my channel. This is your safe place. I hope you are all having a tremendous day. So today's reading is going to be about should you trust this person or your mind? And it can be anybody, okay? It can be a romantic interest, it can be a friend of yours, a family member, a colleague, a employee or employer, you know, can be anybody and you can choose um, for each person a different deck, you know, let's say you choose the second one for a romantic interest and the fourth one, you know, for a friend of you. So we'll have four different piles and some colored uh, bottles are going to <laughs> accompany us. Let's see. Can you see? This is going to be pile number one. Whitish <laughs> color. This is going to be pile number two. Reddish <laughs> bottle. This is going to be pile number three, bluish color. And this is going to be pile number four and the green color. So you can choose your deck or decks and also um, for each deck I'm going to pull some you know <laughs> these cards or you know papers I made and this can be an extra information for us you know like confirmation so you can pause the video focus on the text and then I'll begin with the pile number one Welcome back, pile number one. So first of all, let's see your, you know, this confirmation and, you know, extra information, cards, papers. <laughs> so, who's that person on your mind? Bangladesh, China, brunette, motorcycle, lawyer, hmm, maybe can be important, you know, maybe they are actually Chinese or maybe they are from Bangladesh or maybe they are you know uh, into Asian food maybe Chinese food you know and that can be someone who is brunette yes someone who is in you know law field maybe a judge maybe actually a lawyer or maybe someone who is interested in you know love and we see also motorcycles so maybe they are using that or maybe they are into that okay this is not a must okay it is not a must but you know it's extra information so let's see your cards Swan Spirit, Balance, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Yeah, some of you <laughs> get the meaning, I guess. High Priestess, and also Balance. So, 
very interesting and also very you know um, brief answer okay you know there is definitely something uh, being hidden from you okay uh, of course that doesn't have to be lies okay that doesn't have to be like you know that person lying to you but definitely this person is hiding some facts okay hiding some truths from you you know the high priestess is about the hidden things yeah keeping the truth keeping the information to herself and here we see the duality the black and the white so there is definitely something yes open to you but something is definitely close to you and here we see this warm spirit it says uh, it's time to dive deep okay it's time to dive into deeps depths of the ocean of the water yeah water can be dark you know the high first is about the cancerian so it is also water energy water sign energy and also you know we can not always see what is beneath the water so sometimes it is dangerous and also you know the snow uh, swans yeah they seem like you know they are in such a peace while you know floating with the water but under the water you know under the this image there is definitely some hard work these swans are doing you know they are just um moving their you know legs their feet <laughs> so fast you know just to be on the water it is not easy for them so this person i guess yes definitely missing something um definitely hiding something from you and they are really doing a hard work in order to keep this as a secret yeah and maybe they believe yes they are going to tell you that what is that thing you know someday here with the balance card it is like you know the adaptation yeah everything must be in order everything must be in peace with each other you know when we see a balance you know it's the temperance so it's the balance card And maybe autumn, you know, fall, the season of autumn or fall was important for the secret. So definitely in that manner, yeah, you shouldn't trust this person. Because, you know, the seven of swords also about um, stealing something, hiding something, you know. Can you see the man here is running away with five swords, but he has forgotten these two swords behind because, you know, he is in a hurry. So definitely hiding something, missing something, you know, and I believe you have that hunch okay of course this is the reason you click on this video but i believe you are sensing that and maybe uh this person yeah had done that before okay maybe they had done that in the past and right now they are just you know repeating themselves and i believe you are very aware of it 
because you seem like very knowledgeable, very wise and very noble also. <laughs> you have that kind of an aura and you don't say anything. Yeah, you maybe you know the truths, maybe you know the facts, but you know, maybe you just don't confront with them and maybe you are the one who is waiting in that temperance, in that balance. Yeah, maybe you are the one um, who just, you know, is patient. And what zodiac signs I see here? Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cancerian and Sagittarius. So maybe you or them can have these signs on your birth chart. Okay. Also we see the 60, 19, 8, 4, 7, 2 and 14 as numbers. So maybe these numbers can be important also. And I believe the month of uh, February and the March is going to be important for this manner, for this facts. Yeah. Definitely. And when you ask this person, like, you know, why did you hide something like that from me? Maybe they are going to say, you know, I have trust issues. I had to uh, protect myself from others, from you. Yeah, they have definitely some trust issues. But right now also you should have this trust issue um, for this person. Yeah. Maybe they don't have, you know, uh, bad intentions because... No, I don't see that but there is definitely something is hidden from you so for this matter for this manner yes you shouldn't trust them but maybe after you know uh, learning the truth maybe co after confronting them yeah maybe after that okay but right now no definitely you shouldn't trust them okay there is something under the water, okay? There is something under this, you know, swan. And here also we see, you know, the eyes of the woman is covered by the clothes. Yeah. And I believe this is you, you know. You are very noble. Maybe you are older than this person. Maybe you are more educated than them. Maybe you are more, you know, wise than them, okay? Maybe you are wiser. Yeah, you are matured. Even if you are, you know, at the same age, it doesn't matter. You are the matured one. You are the wise one. So please, for, you know, for the moment, don't trust them. Okay, deep dive. Dive in the depths of this water and search for the truth okay search for the truth what is under the water so pile number one this was your reading i hope you enjoy your reading if you do please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below okay i hope to see you here again until then bye pile number two welcome back so let's first of all some you know extra information this is not a must but you know it's just fun okay who is that person on your mind who are them Bahamas, Fiji, India, Belgium. Yeah, we have lots of them. Okay, water, cashier, sports, 
February motorcycle. It also came in number one, I guess. Yeah. Military and Taurus. Okay. So maybe you or them can be from, you know, these countries. Or maybe, you know, you are just um, into these cultures these countries have. Or, you know, maybe um, you are thinking about a travel, a journey to these countries, maybe a holiday, a vacation. Yeah. We see lots of islands also. Ah, oh. yeah. Maybe you or them live on an island. And also we see water. Yeah, like, you know, the islands. Maybe you are close to water or them. Maybe they are a water sign. A cashier. Maybe this is someone, yeah, maybe they are a cashier, but maybe they are, you know, uh, managing with the money counting the monies and supports hmm that can be someone who maybe does sports because you know we see also military so <laughs> if this person is you know um from a military occupation yeah <laughs> they are definitely doing some sports and also we see february maybe february was um important month for you or maybe this is you know uh the year month of birth also you see motorcycle so maybe they are using that and taurus zodiac sign okay so let's see your cards <coughs> spirit of eagle trust oh this is interesting because can you see this is um 23 and this is 32 two of swords eight of swords lots of swords here <laughs> wheel of fortune queen of swords and the knight of swords yeah okay I believe this is like, you know, in your heart, yes, you want to believe in them. Yes, you want to trust them. But in your mind, when you think rationally, um, you know, logically, I mean logically, with reason, you know, it's like um, you're having some issues, okay? maybe yes your heart is calling you to trust in them but your mind your logic is saying no you cannot trust this person but actually yes i believe you can trust them you know the eagle spirit is saying um the holy spirit is with you okay the holy spirit holy spirit is giving you the support you are seeking and also we see you with the dogs the trust <laughs> okay the trust you know it's like this dog is waiting near the nest you know to <laughs> give birth to his or her you know eggs and here the other dog is waiting you know the getting the eggs doing that eggs <laughs> giving birth to them that is something that two person two people can do and the other one is ready but the other dog is waiting so it's like you know i believe your situation is like this person is calling you into something it can be a partnership you know it can be related to business it can be related to romance it can be you know, a marriage 
Yes, they are calling for you, but you are not sure. You don't know what to do. And your heart is saying, yes, you should say yes. <laughs> yes, you should trust this person. But you are like, you know, no, I cannot see my future. I cannot see the results. So I cannot say yes, because maybe you are always um, a person that is reasonable, a logical person. Yeah, maybe even, um, you know, you don't believe in, you know, tarot readings. Yes, maybe you are watching this, but maybe, okay, this is something just for fun. Okay, maybe you are looking like that. But actually, even though you cannot see your future in this position, because, you know, we have um, two cards that have bondage on their eyes and <laughs> you got both of them. So, yeah. Your heart is calling for this, but your logic is saying no. But actually, yes, you should trust this person because, you know, they are um, honest, but they're also, you know, like um, they cannot hide anything. Okay, they cannot hide anything. They are this knight of swords and <laughs> queen of swords. This person, these people cannot lie. They can be ruthless sometimes, you know, uh, they can be harsh, but they always tell the truth, even though, you know, it is painful. And also what we see here, the wheel of fortune, and it's like, you know, let <laughs> Jesus take the wheel. Okay, it's like that kind of a situation. Because, you know, you have the support from the God, from the universe. And maybe you are okay with being alone, okay? Because, you know, the eagles are lonely animals. They are alone, they pray alone, they live alone, and they live on the top of the mountains so nobody can reach them and also the queen of swords is like that they're okay with being alone sometimes we can see uh the worst people here maybe yeah maybe you are the worst once i don't know how many times but it's like you know You're okay with being alone. So I guess that is the reason you are hesitating to, you know, join this nest. <laughs> that is sweet, actually. And maybe the number 23 and 32 can be important for you. Okay, maybe for this situation. This can be ages, this can be dates, and also maybe three and two can be important. And here we see two, eight, and ten also. So yes, you should trust this person and you should say yes to them. But if you are listening that um, for, you know, a friend whom, you know, you are sharing your secrets, then be careful because, as I said before, these uh, people cannot hide the truths. They cannot hide the facts. They just, you know, spread the news. <laughs> they are honest, okay? So I believe, yes, you should believe 
you should trust this person, you should give them a chance and you should see what is going to happen because you know also we see here in the Wheel of Fortune we see the symbolization uh, of you know four angels and they are all holding books it is the lesson we are going to take from life okay this is about our journey in this life so your next duty your next purpose is to join this crew <laughs> is to join them and i believe you are alike okay yeah you are very alike you are similar to each other so maybe that is the reason um you have these you know hesitations maybe you just see yourself in this person and maybe that is the reason you cannot have yeah you cannot say yes but actually yes you should trust this person my dear friends and what zodiac signs i see here <laughs> lots of air actually um libra gemini libra gemini <laughs> and here in the wheel of fortune aquarius scorpio leo and taurus and also we had the taurus before and the water also maybe you know some water placement on the birth chart so pile number two this was your reading i hope you enjoy your reading and if you do please subscribe to my channel it is really lovely to see you here <laughs> so until then take care of yourself and bye pile number three welcome back so first of all let's see your extra information who is this person on your mind i just grabbed them <laughs> Spiritual March Architect Foreigner April Oh, March and April Maybe someone who is born In this month So that can be an Aries or Pisces Yeah, Gemini Georgia that's the country but maybe that can be you know the name of this person <laughs> yeah Netherlands North hmm North Uruguay so you or them yeah, maybe from different countries or maybe they are into foreign cultures you know maybe they work in yeah these areas you know maybe they are in uh, language maybe they are teaching language to others so that person also can be a spiritual person maybe some of them and here we see architect that can be their occupy occupation and March and April may be important for them yes but may be important for also uh, your relationship with this person so let's see your cards so we have the spirit of parrot parrot spirit it says 
Be careful with your words. We have surrender and three of wands, eight of wands, judgment, nine of wands, and the page of swords. So it seems like um, right now we all have already put some boundaries, okay? You have put some boundaries between you and them and you are actually not trusting them maybe yes you are talking to them meeting with them but actually you have some boundaries and they cannot pass through this okay they cannot pass through this and maybe you are searching for their truths, okay? Maybe you are too much careful about their words. And maybe you are just, you know, um, trying to understand the subtitles when they are speaking to you. Yeah. But actually, the reading says surrender surrender you have some prejudice some assumptions for them but actually they don't seem like you know uh, harmful or you know they don't have bad intentions they just want to be a part of your life. They just want to be, you know, yeah. Maybe they want to be friends. Maybe they want to be lovers. Or maybe if this is a co-worker, they just, you know, want to uh, get along with you, okay? Maybe they want to hang out after work. Yeah, because... This person actually enjoys your company. And maybe you seem like very mature and intellectual from their perception. And they are like, you know, very childish. Yeah. Maybe they are younger than you. Or maybe they are like, you know, a child. So maybe you see them as childish and maybe that is the reason uh, you have these hesitations on your mind but actually you see the facts you see the truths and that's all <laughs> they are not hiding anything from you yeah Like, you know, you are like this um, spy figure <laughs> in the Page of Swords. You are very careful. You are very careful about um, their words, their sentences, their stories. <laughs> but, you know, it says just, you know, surrender. Don't hesitate. Don't put these boundaries. Yeah, maybe... You have been hurt by others in the past. But this person is just so pure and childish. So they don't have any dark intentions or, you know, bad intentions. They're just as they are. Okay. Maybe the number 45 and 26 can be important and also we see 3, 8, 20, 9 but actually this is someone whom you can trust on yeah and you can actually talk to them anything okay you can talk with them about anything 
They are also very good listeners. And they just want to be close with you, intimate with you. Yeah. And I believe right now they're also sensing that, you know, um, they're sensing that you are not trusting them or just, you know, you are just uh, putting some boundaries between you and them. But actually, this person cannot hide anything because the judgment card is about confrontations. So we see everything clear. They'll, they tell you everything. They're just, you know, too much, too much honest. And maybe that is the reason um, you have these hesitations, you know. They are telling me everything, but is that true? You know, <laughs> maybe this is the reason you are like this. But actually, yes, you can trust this person. And what zodiac I see here? Aries, yeah, as I said before, Aries, Sagittarius and Sagittarius, pure air element, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all of them can be. And with the judgment, we see the Pluto, so we can say Scorpio. Yeah. Number three. This was your reading. Yeah, it was very short, but you know, just clear <laughs> and accurate answer. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I love to see you here again and again. Until then, bye. Pile number four, welcome back. So first of all, let's pull some extra information about this person on your mind. Who are they? Sri Lanka, Brazil, Serbia. January Sports Technology School Music Engineer So Maybe this person is from these countries but they don't have to be Maybe they are just you know know the language maybe they are into their culture or maybe they are planning to travel these countries. Yeah. Month of January can be important. Maybe their birth month. Or also this month can be important for you too. Maybe this is the date of your meeting to each other. And here we saw we also see someone who is into technology so they are good at using technology and maybe they are designing that here with the engineer of course they can be any kind of engineer okay maybe music can be important between you two and either that person is a student or maybe they work in a school or maybe you met them at a school and here we see they like sports so maybe they just watching them or just you know um doing the sports we have Brazil maybe they are into soccer or football okay so let's see your cards <laughs> fate joker 
the fool i mean <laughs> ten of cups nine of cups five of pentacles and the empress empress so The reading is very clear okay this is very clear and uh very brief it says yes you can trust them okay we he see here the spirit of antelope and it says the life is speeding up so maybe you met them in a very you know fast in a very quick way so maybe that was too much spontaneous for you because you know we see the fool here so it's like they just you know came into your life and got your attention and you seem like very mature very wise person and maybe you are older than them yeah i always resemble that fate card with the empress because it seems like a pregnant woman who is pregnant with urge and empress is also like that you know they are pregnant <laughs> because the empress is very fertile yeah it is very abundant so i believe for the most of you this is a question related to love and maybe this person just came in and gave you the butterflies <laughs> in your stomach but maybe just because um, you know them for a short time okay yeah you know them for a short period of time so you have these you know questions can i really trust them should i really trust them is that really their real face but actually yes the joker the fool says take a leap of faith you know you should do the jump maybe your friends or family is warning you maybe they are like you know just be calm don't be hurry yeah maybe they are telling you to slow down but it is not <laughs> really uh possible life is speeding up so you are going to experience this story with them very quick very fast maybe very fast and furious so it is not for a time for hesitation okay you should trust them because they are giving you this um beautiful view this beautiful um picture yeah it seems like always a picture to me you know the uh, ten of cups like a photograph of a family a happy family and you know the ten of cups is the absolute happiness with the other and also the knight of uh, the nine of cups is our wishes that come true fulfillment in our wishes so maybe um, the reality seems different maybe you have age gap between you two maybe you are from different countries maybe from different cities maybe from different religions yeah maybe you have you know cultural conflict maybe your families doesn't match yeah but actually yes this person is a very trusted person very honorable very solid you know very solid maybe they seem like very 
you know, young, very childish, very immature, but actually if they want you, if they want to be with you, yeah, they are very truthful. And of course, the, that doesn't have to be a romantic interest. If this is a family member, a friend, a colleague, you know, anyone, yes, this person is someone whom you can trust on. You should have faith on them. Maybe they are asking for a money, okay? Maybe they want to uh, borrow some money from you. And you are hesitating like, are they going to pay me back? Are they going to give that support back to me? Right now, yes, I am supporting them, but are they going to do the same thing in return but actually when they have the sources yes they are going to do so absolutely you can trust on them pile number four what zodiac signs also we see here <laughs> let me talk about it before finishing the video Aquarius, Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn and the Empress and here we see the January so again uh, Capricorn can be important <clears throat> and Taurus yeah Taurus and also maybe Libra because you know the Empress is about the Venus so we can talk about the Libra and the numbers 2, 31, maybe the age 31, 0, 10, 9, 5, 3. So this can be also dates, okay, maybe numbers that is important between you and them. So pile number 4, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading and if you do, please subscribe to my channel. And I love to see you here again and again. Until then, take care of yourself and bye.